Hello everyone and welcome to our lecture today on practicing ICD-10 PCS coding for the physical rehabilitation and diagnostic audiology section. We have uh, our seven character PCS code just like we are used to. The codes from this section will start with character F. So the codes that we would be coding for physical rehabilitation and diagnostic audiology would be from uh, long-term care acute hospitals, inpatient rehab units, as these codes can impact the MSDRG. So the second and third characters are kind of what we're used to. Our section would be if it's rehabilitation or diagnostic audiology for our second character. And then our third characters are not root operations. Again, they're root types. Here are some of the choices, activities of daily living assessment, activities of daily living treatment, caregiver training, cochlear implant treatment, device fitting, hearing assessment, hearing aid assessment, hearing treatment, motor treatment, speech assessment, speech treatment, vestibular assessment, or vestibular treatment. One thing to note is when we're coding the fitting of a device, this would be like a splint or a brace, and we're only going to code these in the rehabilitation setting. So if the device was placed in an inpatient setting, it's coded as immobilization under the placement section. Now characters four, five, six, and seven are again pretty much what we're used to. The fourth character is divided by the body system region. So is it neurological, circulatory, respiratory, the fifth character is a qualifier, but the qualifier is used to describe the type of service in the third character root type, like uh, muscle performance or gait or balance. The sixth character is if equipment was used to perform that service, like an orthotic or prosthesis. And the seventh character is always a Z, none. Okay, let's go to some practice. So we have a 59-year-old female admitted two days ago for a CVA. The physician ordered speech therapy for her residual aphasia. Speech therapy saw the patient and assisted the patient with learning to communicate via a communication board. So what would our root operation be? And then what is our code? I'll give you guys just a minute and then we're gonna go over this. Make sure and have your PCS book handy so we can look this up together. Okay, so our answer, our root type is speech treatment, right? So if you open up your PCS code book, mine is on page 111 to speech, go to speech therapy. So go to the S in your PCS index. And once you get to speech treatment, you'll see F06. So we're gonna flip to F06. Which is on page 790 and 791 in my book. So this is unique in that the fourth character, we're gonna pick none and it's in every single row but the very first one, right? So then you want to go to the next character to decide which row to use for your, your code creation. So if we go to the type qualifier, character five, we know that we're doing speech treatment, so we want to look for that, right? 
So our patient had aphasia. So if we look in the second row, character three is aphasia. So we know we're going to be in the second row. So, so far we have F06, Z for our fourth character, three for our fifth, and then now let's move to our equipment. If we go back to our scenario, we used a communication board. So we're going to pick the M, augmentive or alternative communication, and then our seventh character is Z. So our code is F06Z3MZ. Okay, let's go to another practice. So now we have a patient who is status post-surgery and he has a custom fabrication and fitting of a static ankle arthesis. So what is our root type? And then what is our code? Again, I'll give you a minute and then we're gonna go over this as a group. Okay, hopefully you guys selected device fitting for your root type. So if you open up your PCS index, to page 63 is where we want to go to fitting and then we pick device fitting under that under the artificial limb C device fitting rehabilitation So then if we flip to device fitting, page 45 under D, device fitting, it gives us F0DZ. So now let's flip to that table, F0DZ. Which is on page 795. So now we need to pick our qualifier for character five. And we're gonna pick seven for the orthosis. And it was static. So we're gonna make sure that we pick static, not dynamic. Character six is going to be orthosis again. And then character seven is Z for, for none. So our code is F0DZ7E. Z. Okay, we have one more scenario to go over. So now we have Michael, who is a 62-year-old male, recently suffered a CVA. He has hemiplegia, and as a sequela of his CVA, he's receiving therapy for motor skill improvement with transfers using adaptive techniques. So again, what is our root operation? And what is our PCS code?
Okay, I'll give you guys about 15 more seconds. Okay, hopefully you guys picked F07Z8FZ. So our root type was motor treatment. So if we look that up, page 79, we get F07. So again, motor treatment F07. If we flip to that in our tables, if we flip to F07 table, which is on page 792 and 793, we need to decide which row to use. So our treatment was not for one specific system like is listed in the first one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So we know we are going to do Z for our character four. And then we need to determine which Z row we're gonna use. So let's look at the choices in character five. So our first is wheelchair mobility, then we have bed mobility, transfer training, and gait training. So if we go back to our scenario, he's receiving therapy for motor skill improvement with transfers. So we know we're going to use eight, which is in the sixth row on page 793 the table F07, and then our fourth character is Z. We're using the row where eight is our fifth character. It's actually the, the second from the bottom too, if you wanna go from the bottom up in that table. So now let's go to the equipment. We are going to pick the F, assistive, adaptive, supportive, or protective. And again, because it says using adaptive techniques, that's why we're selecting F for our sixth character, and then our seventh character is Z for none. So pretty straightforward with these. Again, just remember to utilize the documentation to build your code and tell the story of the procedure that your patient had.